Hello viewers, my name is Joshua Mweka and today we are going to share with you the certain things you need to understand before starting a goat farming and first of all we need to share about two finances. Uh, before starting goat farming you need to understand that finances are very important or plays a very important law in goat farming because you cannot keep a lot of you cannot start with a lot of number of goats which you are not going to uh, to be able to fund and uh, sometimes if a disease lies or occurs among your flocks it will be very difficult for you to start uh, goat farming let's say you want to start with uh, 10 goats 10 goats they will need uh, 5000 500 kwacha per goat and if you start with the 10 females, you need a one male or one back to, to be mating with the, the 10 females. Then, when you do so, you make sure that your females are getting pregnant on time and they are saved on time. So, um, you also need to think about to shelter. You need to provide a shelter for your goats and you need also... To think about how you are going to uh, raise a shelter and how much uh, uh, have you allocated for your shelter. Girls need a shelter which prevents them from um, a direct sunlight and rain. So you need to consider these things and you need to think about where to get the materials for the construction of a shelter. Then about nutrition. Girls do not need a lot of supplements because they are uh, they are very easily adaptable to scavenge on their own, so they're eating from the bush. But you need to make sure that the gods have uh, access to plant of uh, grasses and the shrubs or trees. I can sow tree leaves, so uh, so that they can be feeding well and they will, they will gain weight and also grow well. So you also need to understand that there are diseases and you need to know how to prevent diseases, how to control diseases, and how to treat diseases. How to control diseases? You need to, uh, to be spraying your animals or your goats with a deep animal deep, which kills the insects. Those insects, they can be feeding on the goats and also bring uh, diseases. So those diseases are categorized as the tick-borne diseases, which are very dangerous for your gods. Then uh, you also need to know how to control the diseases. When the diseases are coming, have come in your frog, you need to use light medications like uh, antibiotics, which can man manage to control your your diseases, and also the. Uh, the injectable uh, para parasite e e parasitic e e drugs, e they can also help you to reduce e uh, tick-borne diseases at your farm or ticks or vectors which can bring diseases into your flock. Then uh, about prevention, you need to be uh, making sure that your goats are well supplemented with the minerals and also they are taken care of you need to prevent unnecessary unnecessary visitors as they can bring in diseases so pay much attention to this because you when you do that you you prevent your ghost from diseases about um, uh, nutrition and breeding so i mean we, i mean nutrition and breeding we have already said that goats need supplements and also they can scavenge on their own in the bush then when you talk about uh, breeding you need to understand that if you are a starter you need to start with uh, local gods because uh, they are there for you to rain from before if you go with the hybrid gods they, they are expensive one then if you make mistakes then you can lose a lot of money so you start with uh, local Goats which are very affordable and uh, very easy to manage as compared to these hybrid goats. So, and as you increase your knowledge and experience, then you can go in with the uh, hybrids. You can start uh, uh, in with the uh, one hybrid male which can be mounting these local goats. Then, as they are mounted, then they continue producing the kids 
as they produce kids, then you lace your frock like that. Then as you go that, you can be producing your own your own breed like crosses, fifty percent crosses. Those fifty percent crosses are very good and very adaptable to any environment they are raised in because they have a chance. Fifty percent of their mother's blood and fifty percent of their father blood. So. They are good for you and good for everyone who is starting in farming. So uh, then we go to um, uh, marketing. Marketing, it can be very, uh, very easy for you because this time around we are in, there are more uh, buyers, of course, than uh, sellers. So it's very easy to market your course. You can just, you can use Facebook, YouTube, WhatsApp, TikTok. All these uh, social media are very um, useful in terms of marketing and advertising for your goods. Then you can be making a lot of money by selling your goods. And also you need to target the um, uh, ceremonial festivals for Muslims. They buy a lot of goods and they buy good prices. So, and Christmas. So you need to target this. Marketing of goods is very easy. And very, very, very easy. You can make a lot of money. So if you need more uh, information about GoFarming, contact me.